Well, thank you, thank you, thank you for such a warm introduction. Welcome to the Voice Over the Day audio podcast. I'm your host, D. Foster Three, CEO and President of Wake Up Global Networks International. I want to say thank you. If you just joined, you know the spill. You know it. Like, subscribe, share, follow, and check us out when we upload brand new content. If you're listening to the replay, what's up? You know, I got mad love for the replay crew. Want to say welcome. Listen, before we get started, we're going to do a little reading today. Not R-E-A-D, but R-E-I-D. First name, Joy. That's right. Share, like, follow, put this in your content. You got, I know, listen, y'all got a lot of followers. I want you to follow us. Before we get start reading, we got a reading lesson today. That's right. It's, <laughs> reading is fundamental. Reading is fundamental. Uh, I want to ask, have you seen our Voice Over Now podcast, which uploads every Friday? We got some content. Listen, I'm going to peep this. This coming Friday... It's going to be me in rare form. I'm interviewed. I'm interviewed and I was not privy to none of the questions. I said, interview me, ask me anything. And they did. And I kept it as we do on Friday, straight, no chaser. So make sure you get it right here on WPBmedianetworks.com. Shout out to owner and operator April Hall for allowing our voice to be magnified on this wonderful, 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 wonderful platform. If you have something to say and if you're willing to put in the work, check out April and ask for a slot. That's WPBmedianetworks.com, WPBmedianetworks.com, supporting our own. And have you joined me finally on Sunday mornings? Sunday, I get a little spiritual. I get, <laughs> get a little more spiritual on Sunday. No, uh, Sunday mornings at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is the live upload of the Voice of Hope Connection, where we give you a word, inspirational, encouraging word to take you through the week. I get a little, I get a little spiritual on on Sunday, but on Friday and Wednesday, we are gonna dig right in. It's time to read. I want to say thank you. We want to hear from you. Our email is the Voice Over the Globe at gmail.com. The Voice Over the Globe at gmail.com. I'm back in the saddle. You know, for the last couple of weeks, we've been giving homage to our. A big brother, the late coach James Butch McAdams and his legacy. And uh, I want to say thank you for all of your support. I believe he was uh, honored and people came from miles and miles and miles away, literally, to the D.C. funeral, which I attended, and then to the viewing in Baltimore on last Tuesday, I believe it was, a week from yesterday. So, but I'm back in the saddle and it's time to read. What is today's conversation? It is time to read. Now, you know, I always say ignorance of the law is no excuse. Now, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Like, share, subscribe, follow. If I ask you what you would rather experience, COVID, which was devastating. I'm not taking anything away. A lot of people lost their lives and their family members through COVID-19, especially before the vaccines. But, you know, a, a lot of people just, you know, transition and a lot of people are still transitioning. So I'm not making light of that. If I, but if, if, if I asked you, if I came up to you and asked you, which would you uh, rather experience, uh, COVID or an assassination attempt? Um, I'm sure if you, if you had to choose the two, it, it, it would be COVID because people, you know, heal from that. But an assassination attempt that the assassin may not miss. Now, before I get into this, like, share, subscribe, follow. I told you it's time to read. It's time to read. Not R-E-A-D, R-E-I-D, beginning with joy. So I want to say that I am not, uh, as I did in my series on I Will Not Denounce, I'm not taking any sides. I'm, I'm, I'm always a man that's going to deal with principle. Principle is my thing. Um, on the other hand, if I ask you which of the two are more severe, I'm sure most of us would say, or assassination attempt. Because while a lot of people bounce back, especially now from COVID, um, not too many bounce back from an assassination attempt. Okay, question, question, question. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that Joy Reid, host of MSNBC, The Readout, knows and would agree with the analysis? I mean... If I ask Joy Reid right now, you know, I don't know Joy Reid. Shout out to Joy Reid. 
And uh, I'm not picking on anybody, so don't get into this thing. I'm picking on women. No, it's principle. I told you in this podcast, it's straight, no chaser. I don't walk any gray lines. Um, it's it's principle. It's never personality. And it, it's never politics. It's principle. Um, do you think if I asked Joy Reid right now, if I could have her number and call her up and say, uh, Joy, um, which would you think is more deadly, COVID or an assassin's bullet that may not miss? I'm, I'm sure she would agree, now that she had time to think about it, that it would be an assassin's bullet. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe she wouldn't agree with us. Because, obviously not. Because according to her comments on her show on last Wednesday, July 17th. See, in my opinion, Joy Reid got caught speaking her true heart and later tried to backpedal. See, that's one thing about it. The first answer is always the answer of the heart. Backpedal is, oops, I slipped, I got caught. Now... Did I tell you to like? Did I tell you to share? Did I tell you to follow? For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, and you may not watch the readout, okay? Because I don't really watch the readout. Uh, I don't <laughs> the readout. I don't watch the read, but I know it's time to read on this podcast. Um, for those of you who don't watch the show or miss that episode, what I'm talking about is that the MSNBC host was talking on the air with Jean Piskey, P-S-A-K-I. Uh, she was the former White House press secretary who is also, I think, has a show on that network. So the whole context. Now, you know MSNBC is pro-Biden and Harris and a little anti-Trump, like Fox is pro-more Trump and Republicans. And so I'm going to balance it out in a little anti-Biden in the blue. But anyway... Uh, they were on MSNBC, I believe it was on the 17th, and Reed was talking about, Joy Reed, excuse me, Joy Reed, was talking about how uh, former President Donald Trump attending the National Convention 48 hours after an assassination attempt in Pennsylvania was seen as a sign of strength. Now, this is what the former White House press secretary, right, uh, who is, was, was, Hosts on the network. She, um, so they were saying Trump is strong. Trump is strong. Um, President Joe Biden, meanwhile, was diagnosed with COVID-19, if you remember, at the same time on Wednesday. And um, his Joy Reid statement, if he recovers and resumes campaigning, shouldn't that be a show of strength as well? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, so, so she said, I'm talking about Gene P-S-A-K-I, former White House press secretary, was saying that, um, you know, Trump being at the convention, come on, just 48 hours after assassination attempt in Pennsylvania was seen as a sign of strength. President Joe Biden, meanwhile, was diagnosed with COVID-19 Wednesday. If he recovers and resumes campaigning, shouldn't that be? A show of strength as well? Well, let's do the mathematics. I love mathematics. Let's compare the amount of people that have had COVID-19 and recovered and the amount of people that have had an assassin's bullet aimed at them and survived. Mm. Ronald Reagan, um, Ronald Reagan, I can't say Lincoln, but there's a whole list of people who had COVID-19. Anyway, so you get the point. Um... Then she backpedaled and says, because she caught herself. You know, that's the way it happens. When you speak your real heart, and sometimes it dawns on you, I really shouldn't have revealed my thoughts about Trump and how I felt about Trump. She backpedals and said, well, at least that is what she seems to have meant. It came out a little differently than perhaps she meant it. Huh? Huh? Which is to say, it didn't come off well at all. In her comments on MSNBC about Biden's COVID-19 and Trump's shooting, Reid said the former president bouncing right back and going right to his convention is being conveyed in the media world as a sign of strength. But this current president of the United States is 81 years old. 
and has COVID. Should he be fine in a couple of days? Doesn't that convey exactly the same thing? No joy, Reed. Having someone try to kill you by shooting you in the head and missing, thank God. And I'm not on anybody's side. I'm just saying principle is different than having at 81 COVID-19, which now the majority of the people, for various reasons, are recovering. And she says, and I quote, doesn't that convey exactly the same thing? That he's strong enough. He's older than Trump. She, she went to bat for Joe Biden. He's older than Trump. To have gotten something that used to really, here's the key, that used to really be fatal to people, is that, that used to really, Joy, are you listening? That's why I'm reading. That used to be really fatal to people his age. So if he does find out of it, come out of it, and come back, and he's able to do rallies, isn't that exactly the same? And of course, this was before the Honorable President Joe Biden said he wouldn't run again. But I didn't want this moment to pass. I, I know there's other news, Kamala and all of that, but I'm stuck right here because I'm thinking we've got to be to compare an assassin's bullet to COVID-19. Pisky, P-S-A-K-I, started to answer, but Reed eventually realizing what she had said, cut in. Yes, it's too late, Joy. We read you. We read you. We read your heart. We know what you said. She cut in and said, I mean, it's not exactly the same. Wait a minute, wait a minute. But that's not what you said one paragraph ago. One paragraph ago, you said, so if he does come out of it and is able to do rallies, isn't that the same? That's out of your words. That's your words out of your mouth. But she backpedaled. I mean, it's not exactly the same. It's not the same incident. But it's an elderly man coming out of illness. Exactly, Joy. An elderly man coming out of illness. Not an elderly man who was the target of an assassin's bullet and survived it. What, what is the difference of the trauma? The trauma of COVID? I mean, some people have long COVID. Some people are healed. Some people lose their smell. Some people, nothing happens. What? Come on, Joy. What is the trauma of somebody trying to kill you? Maybe, maybe, I'm just saying, Joy, maybe, I'm just reading, maybe nightmares, maybe subconscious fear, maybe, I'm just saying, because COVID doesn't bring all of that most of the time. And I was astonished, somebody is intelligent, though I never watched the readout for my own reasons, to compare COVID. I don't know. Suppose the script was flipped and her Democratic candidate, God forbid, had an attempt and the Republican candidate had COVID. I wonder, would it have been the same results? What's the whole purpose of this podcast? To say, before you read, sometimes... You got to stop and think. Like, share, subscribe, follow. It's time to read. But for Joy Reed, it's time to think. I want to hear from you. The Voice Over the Globe at gmail.com. The Voice Over the Globe at gmail.com. Dot com. Until Friday, you don't want to miss Friday's virtual voiceover now podcast. 
It's me in rare form. I love being interviewed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Support the channel. Support. How can I support it? Subscribe. Hit the like button. We want the algorithms of WPB and all the shows to increase. Until Friday, this is Defoster 3 saying, you have a voice. Keep using it and keep reading and keep thinking before you speak. Peace. Thank you.